Hello, people. The time of epicness has arrived. The Holy Lord himself has given us a present. And look at it. It's the TI-8 Battle Pass. Da -da -da, look at it. So we got the Battle Pass again. Then we got the price pool ready. Which is kind of weird. It's like the old price pool. But I'm going to take a guess right now. And the price pool is going to be 25.5 million euros. Or dollars. Dollars. So a bit more, but not too much. I'm going to bet on it. If you want to have a safe bet, go for it. Then we have the Under Hollow. The Under Hollow is a battle royale game mode. You are sent with other quads in an area, in a labyrinth filled with monsters, marvels and other players to search for Roshan's rarest cheese. To get golden experience, you may be needed to destroy your enemies. So this is a battle royale. I mean, it was kind of obvious that it's going to come because we had like PUBG and all of that stuff going on, right? And kind of obvious that there was going to be something like that. So then we are at the cavern crawl. It just descend into the caves beneath the riverlands and battle your way to fortune and glory. You win games with design this your heroes in your normal matches of dota and explore the deeper parts so you can win by doing that a j baby roshan the reward you can look at that right down there kind of cool i want to have it i'm not gonna get it but i want to have it let's just like away so we've got mutation road this is literally as far as i have seen some Weird mod like OMG, some mods combined literally just all pumped into a bowl. Like you have Q for mutation and unranked game mode play with random selection of gameplay modifiers like range global rupture, events ability to rescue your teammates, just mods put each other. And this is literally from like the big mod. Then we got sprays which made us to come to CSGO, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are not playing Dota 2 anymore. Or defense of the ancient. No, we're really playing defense of the counter strike. <laughs> we got sprays, which are like designed by levels already. So if you have a high level, you get more sprays. This is like 1,000, 1.8k levels. Then we got a team challenge. So Dota wants us to actually play as a team and not play like eat as solo players being just pumped into a five man squad and trying to win a game just by doing their own stuff, you know. So you get. E Team challenges, you get team tokens, you need to 5 stack into your rank queue in a higher difficulty. So, you, if you queue and do that, you just play against better players. I guess if you're like Ancient Free, you play against Divine One or something. They just have harder games. As far as I can tell it, I just question myself about this. If it is like that, that you play against higher players, what if like the top 1 till top 5 players are queuing with each other? What are they playing against? Are they playing against Gaben himself? Just 1v5 game winning them? Or <laughs> I don't know. But we've got custom lane creeps. Actually, I think that's one of the highlights. Because you have your custom lane creeps. Just not the whole standard 0 8 15 thing. No, you have like custom lane creeps you can equip with the global loadout. I hope it's gonna be with like levels in different creeps. So you have a bit of a difference there. Even if it's just for yourself, you know. In-game tipping again. If you win, you get levels. If you tip right, just a casual you already had. Role-based matchmaking queue. I think that's another highlight we have. So, now Battle Pass owners can set their lane preference before they even enter queue. Which makes it already interesting, right? Just match into the new ranked roles mode with a lane selected either safe, mid, off, or support wherever you want. The matchmaker will build a complete group and show each player's position to your team pre-game. You can still choose whichever hero fits to you. So I guess if you say, I just want to play mid, then you queue a mid only, so you are a mid player. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So you can say, I only play mid, I'm just a mid player, so I just queue mid. I think that's kind of neat. Then we got the predictions of like which team is best, which team gets this, this, this. We get levels again. Just... Then favorite team and price pool, nothing special. And the other features again, we got a Kana vote, we got Wager, we got the Shopkeeper's qu uh, quiz right there. Um, we got Recycle, we got Riley, and we got Compendium itself. So, next, I'm sorry, I already like, skipped on. We got the Battle Pass rewards. I think that's an important thing to most of the people, even me. And what is already leaked is the TI1 
at TIA Treasure 1. Where we have some immortals like Ricky we already see here. And there's something we think let's go with the relic. I don't know how it's called. It doesn't say right. No. So we have the relic again, which is pretty cool. I wanna have it. I'm not gonna get it again because I'm unlucky with that shit. But let's go from the beginning. We got the Underlord. Look, that's just Underlord, that's his weapon, that's his animation, it's kinda cool, right? I know, it's kinda neat. Then we got a Ventfush spirit in there, with wings and being a shiny princess. I think that in combination with the princess set would be actually kinda cool. The missile looks amazing as I see it right there. I'm not gonna show each animation, just so you know. We got Terrorblade wings, make him into like a machine. And it looks like turbines. Of like new spacecraft. I don't know. It kind of looks weird. But I think it can look good. The thunder looks amazing. Then we got Ancient Apparition. The icy dude with the crystal in his back. <laughs> That's literally it. You have a cool animation there. You see some stuff like going out of the ground. It's kind of neat, right? That's how it looks like in-game. The red crystal. I think that combined with the other immortal may be pretty cool. Then we got the Ricky as we already saw. A big smoke cloud with a sign and with pop it comes out of the Ricky hat. It's just nothing special. But it looks kind of weird. I think you need to combine it because else it looks shit. Then we have the Spirit Breaker. The Savage Metal. Uh, it's just like a Lotus Orb. I think it looks like a Lotus Orb, right? Uh, just being open and like bashing people. Having a red effect. No, nothing too special. You can look at the charge right there. It's just red bash. Then we got the Lich. The Lich with the Skull. It's just an, any skull. It's a special skull. You can already see it. It's the skull of our icy friend. We just had a few items before. It's the skull of ancient apparition. Lich becoming a ghost bender. Bending the ghost of this ancient apparition. Forcing him to make whatever he wants. Then we got the Ricky and Golden. Just nothing special. And we got a phantom assassin. With like some glowing stuff on their head. Having a dagger animation because I already saw that in a video a friend sent me before. And look at it. I think that looks so cool. Even with the arcana they showed. That dagger looks sick. Right. So those are the immortals. We're going to get to those because I'm going to do a treasure opening right in the beginning. Uh, we're not going to get the ultra rare probably because it's not going to be the one of the first. But we're going to get it like the TI3 treasure opening. The awesome I suppose. Then we got the exclusive emblem effect, which is kind of neat, right? We got exclusive item stuff. Later on, actually, that was the wrong one. That was just the second real life thing. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we got sprays, as already said. You know, you see. Then we got seasonal chat wheels, caster packs, just by levels. Epic caster pack. I just wanted to have them. I'm not going to get it, but, you know, it's just time by time. The Emerald Abyss, there we see the Terra, some green thing, looks like some slimy mod, some mushroom island. Looks kind of weird, I'm not that big of a fan of it, but those stairs look amazing. So I'm gonna use it for a while, but if I don't like it, just not, you know, yeah, just toss it into the trash <laughs> with the other, nah. but it looks like, oh I actually know that, that's actually a real animal. I don't know the name of it, but those are so cool. Like a friend of mine has them. They're so fucking sick. If you cut the leg off, it just like comes back. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Okay, that's what I was talking about. The Lion Prestige item. Uh, I have no idea. Level 255 and 46 Vibram because everyone is writing me on Steam. Uh, you get a Prestige item with custom finger death effects. Unlock styles. Just no. And then Meepo announcer pack. This is so cool. Just to get in, imagine. Uh, you go into the game, everything is cool, and then you hear them sounds. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the game. I already said welcome to the game. Welcome to the game. <laughs> Just, I don't know how it's gonna be like. I think that's pretty neat. Yeah. Then we got the treasures, you know, trust of benefactor and uh, things. We got new taunts. Uh, we cannot look at them yet, but we will see them. And I think they're pretty cool, right? Look kind of neat. So we got the promise of eminent revival, a special gift to battle pass owners. So, uh, who crest 650 will begin an exclusive promise of a eminent revival legacy bundle later of the summer field with new t uh, with new takes on five select item previous battle pass items. So I guess you just get items which look newer, which is kind of cool. And uh, we got a career. 
kind of cute, right? With new stars, level 1000 the last star, which is kind of weird. Because, like, we already started, we had, like, 1. or 2.5k thing. Yeah. We got a new, like, river thing. We got chrome, we got dry, we got electric again. We got slime, we got blood, just as you always. And we have some new effects. Let's go to the first one, the healing one. Just just a green bubble around you, it's fine. TP looks cool. Blink is just green blink. I like that the tome has a new animation. I think that's pretty cool. That's something really nice, new. Uh, green jewels. More fountain. More TP. More stuff. More blink. More fountain. More bottle. Bottle is cool. Base boots again. More TP. Mechanism. Maelstrom. Some, I don't know what that even is. Uh, new Radiance and new Shivas. Then yeah, Battle Point Tribute, Dota Plus rewards. As subscriber along the reward line, there were bonus uh, rewards for the Battle Pass, collecting 5,000 Battle Points and 5,000 shots every 100 Battle Pass levels. Kind of cool. Then other rewards and the Collector Ages. 